Good morning and well done to all of those of you who have managed to stick to your school routines and good afternoon to those of you who are starting to feel a little weary as the school year draws to a close. The Lord be with you all. We really have missed you all and this school year has been like no other. I know that I and my cathedral leaders have seen many of you during our home visits over the last term and we are amazed by how so many of you have continued to work at home with your parents and carers. Well done. We would usually be having rewards assemblies and celebrations in school this week but this obviously is not possible. So, in this week's assembly, there is a message from all of your cathedral leaders and some thank yous from them for the students who have gone above and beyond. Before those messages, though, I would like to say a personal thank you to you all for working so hard this year. Despite leaving the school building in March, we were well on track to smash all reward and praise records and make this our best year yet. Every student achieved the bronze award. 82% of students achieved the silver award. 60% of students achieved the Gold Award and 42% even got to the Platinum level. Imagine what could have happened if this had been a normal school year. It is very difficult to get to, get to Diamond, SLT and Principals Award, but 158 people got the Diamond Award this year, 68 achieved the SLT Award and 24 got to the Principals level. An amazing achievement. You all know who you are because you will have all received your certificates and rewards through the post, so well done again. I also wanted to make you aware of a major pastoral change for September. Although we are keeping the cathedrals and we will still have cathedral activities and competitions, in tutor time we will move to a horizontal system, which means you will only be in tutor groups with students from your own year group. This means that the cathedral leaders become year leaders. Miss Kirk will lead year seven, Miss Derbyshire will lead year eight, Mr Wood will lead year nine, Miss Haynes will lead year 10, and Miss Baker will lead year 11. Miss Marnie will be the year team leader and she will support all year groups. Now sit back and enjoy a brief message from the old cathedral leaders. Hi, Ulla Cathedral, it's Miss Marnie here. Really nice to speak to you. I know it's over video, but it's better than nothing and I really do miss you and I can't wait to see you all in September. But I hope you're all safe and well at home. I just want to say, first of all, a massive thank you to all of the ELA students this year. You've been absolutely amazing, an absolute pleasure to lead, and you've really made my job amazing this year, and I've really enjoyed myself. I can't wait to see you grow as individuals over the next couple of years, and for those who have a year left as well. Um, a few people I'd like to give a special, special recognition to, uh, and that is Jessica Priest and Amelia Josie in Year 7, they are exactly what we expect from Bishop Young students. Polite, hardworking, team player, consistent and always getting it right. So well done girls, I'm really proud of you. Another student is Ray in year 10, who is a hardworking student, always getting great praise from his teachers about how hard he works and how polite he is. And I just want to say well done Ray, keep it up and you'll do absolutely fantastic next year with your GCSEs. Um, and finally, and two other students I'd really like to give um, a special recognition to are Matthew Dyson and Joshua Dixon. These students have got nearly 2,000 praise points this year. They have worked so hard over lockdown. I've spoken to parents and they have been amazing. The amount of positive points these two boys have had over lockdown is incredible and you should be really proud of yourself because I am really proud of you. So well done boys, keep it up. So that's it from me, uh, it's nice, nice, short and sweet, but I just want to say good luck over summer, look after yourselves, stay safe and I can't wait to see you all in September. Hi, this is the third time I've done this Winchester Year 11, so I'm going to try and be really quick, because even though it was two minutes, I've struggled to get under two minutes and I'm still wasting time now. Congratulations. I know you all will have done fantastically well. Um, I know this because in year 10 at the end I could see the drive that you had I could see that there's some of you had kind of had a bit of a weird time in year 10 thinking that um, teachers had it out for you and they're asking you all these unreasonable things but you know you, you figured it out you made it through and you came back into year 11 with the quiet confidence that you were going to do everything that you could with your time you had left to achieve and to make use of it all and you've you've done it You've done it all. I'm so, so proud. I know that when you open those results, in any however they're going to be presented, it'll be completely what you deserve. The times where you've done the after schools, the lunch times, the extra bits and pieces, you've done all those homework, 
all of that adds up the time you were revising for your mocks and you're like mocks who gives a crap about them but look where we are now so you know those mocks will have gone a long way as to deciding the grades that you're going to get deciding the opportunities that you know have going forward as young adults in this world I'm so proud of you I have to do some awards really quickly and it's really hard um, I'd like to um, hand on heart give an award for a blessing for being punctual to all their lessons um, exemplary behaviour thank you for that um, Casey Baker the unofficial enforcer of the pastoral team sorting out stuff before we even know bringing new sevens covered in mud to the office thank you so much for that um, Caden Stone I managed to um, try and you know be a little bit more um, reciprocative to people trying to teach him so that will come from his results and then we've got the ones who just quietly and confidently do what they need to do every day Ben Shalito and gets it done there's loads more I could name each and every one of you and say a highlight of our time together but it's already 2 minutes and 13, 14 seconds so that time at the beginning I did end up wasting and I guess the takeaway is you don't really know what's going to happen in life so nothing's given and use the time you've got be successful and be kind thank you hey guys it's just eight. <laughs> um i'm just this is the last time that i'm going to get to speak to you all um this year and i just want to let you know that it's been an absolute pleasure um being your cathedral leader this year some more than others um but there are a few that have stood out to me especially during this period of COVID where we've been really uncertain about how um, things are going to play out. There are some students that have just really gone to town on the work that's been put online, that's been sent at home um, and really, really impressed me um, for their commitment uh, to the work and the fact that they're still achieving um, principals awards and diamond awards and things like that while they're at, while they're at home um, amazes me. I know I wouldn't have had that kind of focus when I was at school, so that's really special. So those people are um, in different year groups. Um, Amy Payne is one of them. Um, she's achieved some high standards certificates. Two in particular, um, Hudson Pees and Lozzie, um, have both achieved a Principal's Award while you've been off which I think is immense and really congratulations to you two. Um, a Biome and Peace, you two really have stood out because you've really persisted and tried your best and achieved really high standards with your work and your certificates during this, um, this period. Um, and that's it really, just uh, enjoy your summer if you can, have some good times, remember, we're going into New Year's now and you'll uh, have to work a little bit harder next year. Um, and all my best for the summer holidays. Take care. Bye. Hi Canterbury. Um, hope you're doing well. Long time no see. Um, it's been a bit strange, hasn't it? So <laughs> at least you've had loads of time off school, eh? So, Mr Kilkenny's asked us to nominate some students from our cathedrals. Um, students that we think have, have done really well or overcome some things during lockdown and, and throughout the year, really. So, very quickly, because we've got two minutes, um, for Canterbury 1, I'd like to nominate Deck Upton because I think he's come through quite a lot this year um, and he's realised he's a little bit stronger than he thought he was so you know he always works very hard he's such a nice kid um so yeah deck well done you've won it for canterbury one canterbury two wow um quite a few to choose from in here but i've gone for isaac jordan norris simply because isaac gets it right every single day all day you know, he's just a, a lovely young man, you know, no negatives at all. He's already got the Principal's Award, just magnificent effort. So well done, Isaac, you have won for Canterbury 2. Canterbury 3, wow, this was difficult as well. 
Um, but I have picked Nathan Hill. And I've picked Nathan um, because he has worked so hard with Mr Khan with his English. Um, I'm really, really putting the effort and I'm really proud of him and I want him to feel uh, that everything he's done has been worth it. So well done Nathan, you know, keep up the hard work and you will get some fantastic GCSEs, good lad. Canterbury 4, uh, another difficult one really because there were quite a few to to choose from in there and I've gone for Paris Bar and I've gone for Paris because Paris like Nathan has really really pulled out all the stops this year um, she's worked really really hard um, and has just become a lovely young lady who, who's willing to put the effort in <coughs> and I'm sure that she will reap the benefits of that so keep it up Paris um, look forward to seeing you on the student leadership team and, and keeping up that hard work well done good girl uh, Canterbury Five, so I've gone for Callum McDonough for Canterbury Five, simply because I think Callum gets overlooked a lot because he's so quiet and um, so refined, he just kind of gets on with things and I just wanted him to have some sort of recognition because he gets it right all the time and, and I think he works really hard. So that's it guys, look forward to seeing you in September, unfortunately I won't be your Cathedral Manager anymore. I am taking over year seven. That doesn't mean you can come and see me if you need to, but yeah, just wanted to give you a heads up. Bye guys, have a nice summer. Hello Dawn Crew Dunks, Mr Wood speaking. Uh, I'm just giving you all a massive well done and passing on a massive well done to you all um, for working so hard this year. It's been a very, very hard year, a very uncertain year, but you've all done really, really well and I'm really, really proud. I'm just creating this video as sort of a celebrations online. Um, so I pinpoint all those that have done really, really well. Uh, so I'm going to start by two at a group at a time. So D1, we have the fabulous Derek Proch, uh, who's sort of under my radar, smashes everything that he does. Uh, and I'm really proud of you, Derek, so it's just time you got some recognition for that. Um, D2 is the famous Chris Botty. Always puts a smile on my face every time I see him. Such a polite young man. Uh, well done, Chris. Uh, D3 uh, is Molly Rao. Uh, Molly, again, a bit like Darren and Chris, you're just flying under my radar uh, because you get it right all the time and that's what we ask for. Um, so I'm really proud of you. Uh, D4, we have Jake Barr. Jake, again, very similar to Chris. He puts a smile on my face every time I see you. Very, very polite and humble. And they're great qualities of a young man. Uh, and D5, we have Cheryl Fudgy, who, who smashes everything. Um, she's very, very academic. And she's very, very driven to succeed and that's perfect for those that are in Durham. So. Um, yeah, so massive, massive well done um, and a huge congratulations to you all for completing another year um, at BYA. Next year I will be the head of year nine, so I look forward to my new challenge um, and I look forward to seeing all those year nines and all the other students next year. Thank you. Afternoon Riffin Cathedral, hope you're all doing all right. It's getting towards the end of the year again and it's normally the time when we'd have our rewards assembly. It's been a really difficult year this year, but we've got through it together as we always do. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to one person in every form and then we'll do the most praise points. Um, it's just these people have been hard workers all year. They've been exactly what Riffin's all about. They're team players, they're consistent and they put everybody before themselves. So Riffin 1 is going to be Reese Stewart, who has just achieved his SLT award. Reese is in year seven and is a fantastic team player. He works with everybody regardless of what year they're in. It's absolutely fantastic. Well done, Reese. Rippon two is Nick Yates. Um, Nick has achieved his platinum award recently. And I think if we go back to the beginning of the year, nobody would have expected the turnaround that we've seen in you, Nick. We're absolutely so proud of you. You have turned into a fantastic role model for the cathedral. You've picked up your attendance. You've picked up your praise points. So well done for that. Riffin 3 is Alfie Wilson. Alfie is the first person in Riffin to achieve his Principals Award. Um, we're really proud of you. Mr Cooper is so proud of you. Alfie is consistently getting praise points for the Cathedral. He's consistently getting involved in everything he can. Uh, well done, Alfie. Riffin 4 is Jennifer Naxa. Jennifer, you have just achieved your Platinum just today. Um, every time I see you, you're so polite. Your manners are amazing. You put other people before yourself. 
your friendship group admire you so much uh, thank you for all of you who have joined us for Riffin 4 you're amazing and finally Riffin 5 goes to our lovely Matthew Armitage Matthew you get yourself involved in everything you possibly can whether that is the cathedral competitions whether that's the ski trip you are absolutely fantastic you are exactly what Riffin is all about so thank you so much guys I really appreciate it I hope you all stay safe look after yourselves over the summer holidays and I can't wait to see you all in the next academic year. I hope you enjoyed this week's assembly. I'd like to finish with the school prayer. Loving Father, we were each created for a purpose and are precious in your eyes. We are unique. Thank you for our gifts and talents. We are loved. Thank you for our families and community. We are empowered. Thank you for our opportunities. We are strong. Thank you for walking beside us when, we, when times are hard. As a school, we come before you and ask for a blessing on our day and for all the days to come. Amen. Please have a brilliant and a restful summer holiday. This has been a very, very strange year, but we hope to return in September and be somewhere close to normal. We will write to you very shortly with all the details of our new year and where to come and how to enter the school and how we'll be adhering to social distancing measures. But please, please have a restful holiday. Enjoy your time off and we look forward to a fantastic year again next year. Thank you.